and welcome back to another video. I wanted to start kind of like a new series. It's not like a brand new idea. People have been doing it for ages. I see lots of people do it all the time. But I wanted to start doing a what I made in a month kind of videos. Not to be like, look at all the things I made, but so that I can kind of see what I've been making and assign months to things because I'm terrible at remembering at what time that I made things. I only think I made one complete item this month and the other stuff is like partially made. I have been working on a patchwork cardigan for the last little bit and these are the only squares I've got that I haven't done together. These are all the squares for back panels. The reason that they're in two separate piles is this pile I haven't weighed the ends in yet and put a loop on it. And this pile I have. So this is the final lot of squares, hopefully, for this cardigan. And on that same vein, I have been, I think I made most of those squares in March. Some of them might have been from February. I would know these things if I had started <laughs> tracking what I made every month at the beginning of the year. But anyway, this is one of the panels. This is going to be one of the sleeve panels. So that is all seamed together it just obviously has to have like a seam down this bit but that is one of the sleeve panels this is one of the front panels for this cardigan i really love all the colors i am mildly concerned <laughs> that i've made it too big but i did want it to be oversized i just don't want it to be like gigantuan this is the other front panel and yes some of them are a bit like weirdly shaped at the moment it's just because I haven't like pulled them out properly. And then this is the other sleeve panel. So this will be for the other side of the sleeve. And obviously I just I still have to seam it in there, but it is a little bit easier to join it to like the main part of the cardigan when it's flat. What I've been working on is some of these little squares for my meadow blanket, which I am making very slowly. I think are the ones, these are just some centers. Yep. I clearly didn't get very far. I've been focusing on the cardigan, so... But I did make a couple this month. This is probably one of my favourites from the month. Isn't it pretty? And I think... Yeah. I keep falling out because there's like some little ones as well. That one... And I think this is my actual favourite from the month. I don't remember. How pretty that one is. That one is like partially done. <laughs> And then I've got like a blue and a pink, which is cute. All of the, the meadow blanket squares and the patches for this cardigan are all made out of millens and scrap yarn. So it's a variety of fibres, mainly acrylic and wool. Like that green is definitely wool and uh, quite a few of these other ones are acrylic. I'm a little, I'm a little worried for how that's going to be when washing. <laughs> I'm just going to have to be kind of careful with the mixed fibres, but yeah, so those are all made out of millens and scrap yarn. Those tails are going everywhere. And that goes for all of these squares as well, because they're made from like, the same like group of yarn. Now we get on to the one item that I started and finished this month. And I did follow a tutorial for this. So I will put person whose tutorial sort of crochet along I followed. Uh, their username on the screen, because I can't remember it off the top of my head right now and I will link to their YouTube channel down below. So this is like a little hooded scarf kind of thing. Watch it just get all over my black shirt. So I use this like fluffy white yarn. So this is it. Oh my god my hair is, my hair is gonna look so wacky afterwards. But I added like little pockets. So I decided about whether I want to make the pockets like a little bit longer or what but it's so cute so you know i can't wear it at the moment because it's too hot here but it's gonna be so cute if i ever go anywhere colder or if it actually ever gets colder i messed up my hair oh my god i totally did look at my my hair is like crazy now i really should have like done this as the last kind of i think that's as good as i'm gonna fix my fringe but this is so soft the hood is made from wool and some acrylic mohair. This blue is definitely acrylic mohair. This fluffy one from memory is, I think it's a Caraval brand. It's not 
like old like stash yarn it i think is an acrylic nylon mix i can't remember if it had wool in it and all of the other yarn though like the green and the navy and aqua and cream like the regular cream not the fluffy cream that is all 100 percent australian wool and it turned out super cute and i absolutely love it so much the only thing is folding up is a bit of a change and no i haven't blocked this i probably would and then this is the last thing that I finished. I did not make this all in March. I've actually been working on this for like ages and ages. But I did finish it off. I finished weaving in some of the final ends and I added this like, I don't know if you can see it, but like I added color around the trim. This is like such a warm color again. I'm still undecided on whether or not I want to add a button band onto it. Or if I just want to add like a little, a little loop and to kind of like hold it closed. I don't know yet, but it turned out really cute. And it's got like a little three quarter sleeve. And I really love the colours on this one. This cardigan is made from 100% wool. Um, I'm pretty sure it's Australian wool, but it's 100% wool. So it's nice and warm. I do really love the little detailing on the cuffs. If I'd had enough left over of the colours... I would have done it all around the band and on the bottom as well, but I bought them a really long time ago. Dialots that they currently stock don't quite match, so unfortunately. I think in a future project, I would like to do a complete, like, colourful border. But yeah, because I was using up the scrap bits that I had left of the colours, that is the main reason why there's, like, two colours on each sleeve. And obviously, I just had more yellow than I had anything else. I didn't have any purple left by the end of this. These are all the things that I've been making this month. I made quite a bit actually. I'm pretty pretty happy with what I made and yeah I just thought I would share it. Thank you for watching this video. If you want to see more videos from me subscribe because I post sometimes. <laughs> um, I would really appreciate it if you could give this video a like and comment down below and let me know what your favorite thing was that you made this month. I think my favorite thing might be the little like hood. That was pretty cute. Just like the color. <laughs>